Hello Fish Fever, welcome to episode 2 of the weekly wrap up. So you guys seem to enjoy um, this series where I posted the first episode last week so I thought I'd carry it on. So um, getting into this um, video now, so um, I'm selling a few players from a 352 BPL side I had. I've just logged them all up for 150, you can see the side there. It was just pretty average side to be honest, it was quite good. I used it for when I did the informed Gary Hooper review. I still had it sat in my club so I thought I'd try and sell it on. Um, I'm looking at a few players to sign as well. I'm going to be doing um, player reviews on both of these players. Hopefully I'll get Barini tomorrow. He's uh, about 34,000 at the minute as you can see there. Looks like a good player. I'm going to hopefully buy him tomorrow and then play some games get a review out by tomorrow. And the same applies to uh, Man of Match East Goat as well. Um, he's, uh, both of these goals were very good um, in the under-21s I saw on both. They both played uh, very well and deserved these cards. There's obviously a Man of Match name as well but I'm not made of money. I can't afford that. Um, East Goat is about 75,000 coins at the minute, so um, I'm hopefully going to buy both of these and, and do a review on both of them, and they will be out tomorrow if I can. Right, um, I'm going to show you guys my favourite team I've used on uh, FIFA 13 Ultimate Team so far. So, um, I've had this since about December. It's pretty standard to be honest, Brazilian team, but it's not your full on standard team. like. I've got a few players who you wouldn't really think of um, like straight away, so I'll talk you through the team now. So we've got Helton, he's played 94 games for me and he's just been an absolute beast in this team. Uh, we've got Danilo, he's a very solid player. I used his inform card but really didn't notice too much of a difference so I kept this card there. Uh, we have Felipe Santana, 101 games he's played for me. So um, he's been fantastic and um, to partner him we have had Dede. He's played 83 games, I've used uh, like Team of Season Revere in this position as well. Did a review on him, that's why Dede's not got so many games. Left right, we got Felipe Luis. He's actually really solid. Like, you think, just get Marcelo. But this guy's actually a pretty um, good player. I'd like to try out his team of season card, but I'm not sure. I might try and get his inform card for this squad now. Uh, with right CDM, we have got Ramirez, who's an absolute solid beast. 88 pace, most people have used him by now. He played uh, 93 against me, 15,000 coins. you got to remember that I built this team in December, so... This was before the market crash. Uh, we have Luis Gustavo, he's um, played 31 games for me, um, he's my other CDM. He's pretty solid to be honest, more defensive minded. And then we have Carlos Eduardo, he's played 93 games, scoring 24 goals. He's a very good player with 5 star skills and left footed as well. And then we have Jadson, he's a 5 star skiller with 74 uh, games played and 18 goals. Very good player, I really enjoy using him. And then we have my favourite player on the game, Leandro Damiao. Not sure what it is about him, I just absolutely love him. 71 pace, um, yes, that isn't that much. And he does get out pace, but he has 4 star skill moves. So if you find a player catching up to him, do a few skills, a chop or step overs, the roulette, something like that, just get around him. 77 shot as well, which is very good. Uh, he's got a 2 star weak foot, so that's quite bad. But this is what's so good about him. He's 6 foot 2, which is 187, 187 centimeters. 6 foot 2, 85 heading, and he has 92 jumping. So he is a very good target man, and he plays just behind uh, this player, Wellington. And um, he can, uh, like, if a goalkeeper kicks it up, I tend to find that normally the defenders will win a header most of the times, but Damian normally wins a header. And then we got Wellington, who's coming up to his hundredth game soon, and um, he's got 92 pace. He's just an absolute beast. Uh, I'm not going to show you my bench because I've got some informs on there from my uh, League Portuguese squad, which um, the video has not been out yet. Hopefully, I'll get it out by Friday. I'm going to say. Because I haven't um, bought all the players yet, I'm just waiting for all these cards to sell. And then um, hopefully we can uh, buy the last three players. I need a centre attacker mid, a CDM and a striker. And then the squad is done. So uh, this video is wrapping up. So if you have enjoyed, then please do leave a like. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.